Okay, okay. We're taking 3725 with green volume. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Cisco? Cisco, you're gonna do it for me, right? As soon as we see ask of 3725 with green positive volume. Break through this 24 resistance. Do it. Do it and give us something to believe in. Something on this day that will make us proud to be who we are. What's up, Raka? 3724? Now we we need green volume. We need buy volume above the previous volume, right? So we want to see a couple of things. We want to see uh, open less than bid to, for upward momentum. We want to see 37.25, and we want to see green volume above the previous bar's volume. Yeah, yeah I don't have poggers enabled. So hopefully it breaks the 25. And we can do some stuff. So now we're just waiting. We're waiting for volume levels. We're waiting for price level. Okay, 25. But the open is... Win. Just because it's 25 doesn't mean it's good. right? It's 25 on this candle. So this candle needs to be green above the previous green. Buy above the previous buy. It's getting there. And open below the bid ask of 37.25. We're almost there. We're watching the volume. Watch the volume. And as soon as it breaks the volume, boom. Okay? So we're filled at 37.27. So we're filled at 37.27. We would have liked to gotten in at 35, but we got 27, so... To be honest, you can just buy it. The volume doesn't matter too much. Does it? it matters a lot. It matters a lot. So it breaks the top resistance line. It hits 37.27. It breaks this volume. We bought a little bit late, but it's okay. We got in at 37. The 12 minute closes. And now our close position is this previous low. So we're selling off at 37.24 for a loss here. Um, if it does hit, uh, we're selling off at 37.23 if it goes for a loss seems like others had the same idea. You are right. There's a lot of resistance right here at this top. So we're going to see how high it can go. You see this low here? Uh, high low over here. So this candle's high is 37.29. This candle's low is 37.24. So we're going to sell if it hits 37.23. One unit below the previous candle's low. 37.23. Uh, the reason why we do that is because we minimize loss that way if it does decide to go for a turn. Look at the move, CJ. What was that? Pug chip, puggers. Uh, so we're going to see how high Cisco can ride. Trades down a little bit. That's okay. 37.23. So, okay, so the 13 minute closes. So now our low point is 37.28. So we're going to hit if it hits 37.27. If bid hits 37.27, we're out. Right here, if this bid hits 37.27, we're out. That means we'll be taking a loss because we bought in at 37. But... Uh, that's okay, because taking a loss is just normal in case. So if it's 37.27, we're taking a loss. A $10, $10 commission loss. It's at 28. Hopefully it doesn't hit 27. We're looking at the bid really hard right now. We're looking at this bid. If it's 37.27, we're going to take a small loss. But it doesn't hit. It's good. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. And the 13 minute is going to close out right now, the 10 13 minute. Uh, 10 13. So this low is now, uh, we're looking at this low again. So 37.28. So we're going to take a loss at 37.27 again if it hits 37.27. So we're ready to take market 37.27. Let's see how high this can go. Oh, it's creating new highs for the year. Oh, that's a little risky because we don't know how high it can go and it could be overextended. So we'll keep that in mind, 37.27. It's rising, praise the Lord. Praise, bless RNG, bless RNG, my dude. So hopefully this 14 minute candle closes out 
and then we'll be able to look at a new low. So if this candle closes out here at 37.34, we're going to upgrade our low to this point, to the low of this point. And the low of this point, yep, the, can, the minute closes out, 10.15 uh, now. So the low of this candle is 37.31, so we'll be selling off at 37.30. If it hits 37.30, we'll be selling out for a minor profit. Um, the reason why we sell one unit below the previous candle's low is because that indicates that it's going for a turn, right? Like, if it's going up and then suddenly it starts going down because it's going down from the previous candle, then that means we're, it's indicative of a turn. And we don't want to be in the center of a turn, right? We want to be in an area where the turn doesn't exist, right? So we want to solve as the turn hits the inflection point at the top. If any of you have taken to calculus, the inflection point is the point at which the parabola hits the horizontal vertical, uh, the horizontal velocity of zero if you're taking physics or something and we want to sell off at that point for the most optimal point of profit which is usually one unit below the previous low so it looks like it's moving up to 37.4 which is really solid just trail up yeah we're just trailing up we're just moving it up the the 10 15 minute is going to close out and we're going to upgrade our low to this point's low this point's low is uh 37.34 so now we're selling off at 37.33 so always keep track of your highs and your lows uh, 3734 is the slow, so we're selling out at 3733. If we see the bid hit 3733, we will be exiting this position. Uh, hopefully it just rides high. Hopefully it just goes really, really high, you know? All you gotta do. I wish more people stream trading. Memes would be insane. Uh, trading's pretty fun, right? Trading's pretty fun to watch because I feel like... Because if you, if you at the viewer at your table are also trading, then you can also get, like, uh, information... Indications of what people are thinking. 3733 is what we're looking for. Or or what we're not looking for, right? We don't want to see 3733. We just want it to see it moving up. Could people be chasing the side? Yeah, people are definitely chasing the side. You see, like, this was the optimal point of enter, which is what I took. But here, you see, people are chasing here, people are chasing here, people are chasing here. So people are definitely chasing this right now. Minute closes out here soon. Uh, 3733. Hopefully it doesn't hit 3733. And the 10, 17 minute closes. So this low here is 37.39. So if it's if we see 37.38, we're exiting, right? The the bid low here is 37.39. So if we see the bid of 37.38, we're just exiting this position at 37.38. We're not gonna be greedy about it, and we're out. So we exited at 37.38. We entered at 37.27. So we made 11 cents, uh, which is over a thousand shares, which is 110 dollars minus the. $5, $5, $5 both ways. So we made $100 on this trade, which is good, right? We can buy ourselves uh, we can buy ourselves some dinner today. Seems good. So we got in at this trade. Um, and then we're holding this as a high. Remember, we want to trade at the inflection point. We see the inflection point. How do we see this inflection point? How do we see this starting to go down? One unit below the previous low is what we see, right? We know that this is going to be a down. Now, could it go up? Could it do something like this? Could it, you know, could it, do something like this and then do a minor low and then high yeah it could do this right but then we're taking this position we're taking we're taking a position at 37.44 right we're taking this position potentially so it's okay it's okay to sell off here for a, a minor situation even though we could take a minor uh, we could hold for a minor profit advantage but we just want to minimize the risk percentage right so that's that's all we're doing here